Hi everyone, welcome to the channel today. I will be discussing relationship core needs. Um, and these all began at birth, okay? So, but most of us didn't get all of our needs met. The first relationships we had in our lives set the foundation for all of our adult relationships, okay? So I just kind of jumped right in. I was having a conversation this week and it just kind of fueled a little bit of research as usual, right? Isn't that what my channel's all about? So I want to share with you what I discovered. I had many aha moments too here, okay? So if you're not alone, put in your earbuds. You don't want to miss anything. You will learn something today. I know every single person will, okay? So let's get into it. Um, basically, neediness is one of them, okay? So it's attachment trauma. So the push and pull behaviors, shut down and chronic jealousy, they are all manifestations of insecure and unsafe attachments from birth, from our childhood, okay? The next one, a security that conflict doesn't mean impending doom, abuse, or disaster. Healthy conflict is good. It actually allows and for repair, which creates deeper levels of intimacy and vulnerability. Fully and authentically be able to express ourselves, okay? So being your true self, were you able to do that when you were a kid? This can be scary or difficult to access if you had a parent or parent figures who molded, shaped, or controlled you or each other, okay? Celebration and joy of who we are within our inner being, so being seen for your unique traits and for what make you, you, and who, why you are the way you are. And the other piece to that is not being, not seeing you as a function or a tool to how someone feels. Okay. So the next one is lack of ego personalization and understanding that behavior isn't personal. It means nothing about who we are and reflects a person's emotional state. Simply, that's it. Um, and an overall feeling of well-being. Protection. A safe space to express spiritual, emotional, and physical needs. So it's important to understand that this doesn't mean all needs will be met or met in the way that we want them to be met. Okay? Shame-free support. Grace for, per for a person's humanness. Allow for mistakes without assuming malicious intent. Mistakes are part of life and allow us to grow. This can be especially difficult if we were shamed, punished, or our realities were denied as children, okay? The last one is attunement. And that is an awareness of our emotional state True connection that comes from active listening and presence. This would be difficult if we were an afterthought to a parent or parent figures, or if they often ignored our needs to meet their own. Okay, so I gave you a lot. I gave you a lot of info today in a short time. Um, feel free to drop a comment. Um, you know, I learned a lot about relationships today when I was searching through and I hope that you guys benefit too uh, in some way. You took something away. Maybe you understood something about somebody else in your life or somebody that you know. Okay, so I wish you peace and next time. Bye guys.